File syncing and storage services can give you seamless access to all your data from Microsoft Word to PDF to spreadsheet, photos, videos, audios, you name it. Any kind of digital asset, you will have access to it from anywhere, anytime, and using any device. Hi, I'm Dr. Rashid. And in this course, I've explained my top four file syncing and storage applications, starting from how to download and install them both on your PC and on your mobile phone, and how to manage your files overall on the cloud and on the system, and most importantly, how to synchronize both of them to work both online and offline, and even go beyond synchronization to collaboration with your students your colleagues and other professionals from any part of the world. Now, the most important part of these file syncing and storage services is that the whole data that you have is going to be synchronized and stored in the cloud and it's fully secured, which means even when you lose your device, you will be assured that you have access, full access to your data online using any device from anywhere and at any time. So I'd like to sincerely thank you for joining me in this course and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. To access Google Drive, all you need to do is to come over to the search bar and type drive.google.com. Once you have your Gmail address open, you will be able to access your drive directly. Another way you can access it is once you have your email open, you can come over here directly to this Google Apps. You click on it and you can see a bunch of apps that you can access directly from your device. And down here you can see the drive this is the google drive we're talking about you're free to move it to any location of your choice if you want to reposition it maybe to have quick access to it you can bring it up here another quick way to access it is you can click on it from here from your gmail account and it will bring you directly to your google drive so once you are in your drive what you first see is the list of suggested items that you have visited this is the most recently visited items in your drive that you have accessed it will show you this and then down here you have a list of folders that you stored in your drive all of them all the folders all the items that you have uploaded you will be able to see them here to the left here you have the option to create a new file you click on this new and you can have the option to create a new folder where you can store files or you can create you can upload a file directly when you click this it's going to alert you to upload a file for example you can click on this and then you navigate to a location in your computer where you want to upload a particular file maybe for example i want to upload this and then you can click on this and you can just upload directly see it uploading on this drive right so once you see the blue tick it means it has uploaded the second method in which you can do the same upload is to drag and drop the files so for example i can get to my desktop if i want to bring in a file i can just simply drag it and drop it you can see once i drop it will start copying that file directly uh, just like that i need to copy it to my drive you can copy this you can do the same for folders you can drag and drop any folder you can just drag and drop it just like that and it will just copy and just like we did the other one so there are two methods in which you can upload you can upload a file you can upload a folder just like now i drag and drop a folder i show how to drag and drop a folder you can equally upload a folder using the same method you click and you can navigate to for example, where you have folders, you can click on this and it will upload the whole files within that folder. So the next thing is on this new tab, you can create a new Google Docs, you can create Google Sheets, you can create slides for presentations, you can create Google Forms, you can do all that and even many more. You can do drawings and all this. So you can just have a look at it to understand the different functionalities that you have. So this is on uh, new, you have over here your 
computers you can actually see how much of your files you have saved if you've actually synchronized with your computer if you have a, a google drive app installed on your computer you can be able to synchronize it and you see i will show you just in a bit how you can synchronize your folders from google drive to your computer these are files that i shared with you when other researchers or other colleagues of yours share files with you this is where you see them you can see them over here all those files you see them here they are not present in your main drive they are only present here in shared icons you shared with me uh, files so but you have the option to bring back any file by just clicking on it by just clicking on it coming all the way here to click on make a copy as you make a copy of this this is going to go back to your main drive this is going to save it in your main drive so once you click and make a copy it's going to go to your main drive and it will create it will create a shortcut to that particular file that you have just make a copy of so next you have your most recently visited files you can access your most recently visited files directly from recent here and you have stared items stared items are actually items that you you visit frequently or you like you want to save for quick access you can just put them on the stared items and you can access them very easily by just coming to stared items but it's just like the stared items lastly you have the trash trash is actually important to understand how it operates if you delete a file from your drive it directly comes to this trash and you have 30 days to undo the deleting if not after 30 days that particular file will be permanently deleted from your drive all right so down here you have the storage calculator you can see how much storage you have usually it's 15 gigabyte which is quite a bit much as, uh, when you compare to how much data we have not the videos not the uh, too much big data that you can have with, but the most important data with 15 gig you should be able to have a lot and save more what i usually do i used to have more than one google account so if you want to store more you can have more than one and then you can store subsequently 15 15 gig on each one of them and then if you are still boy and you want to buy more drive you can still click on buy more and you see you have the option to buy more so down here to my drive you have the option di directly here to search you can click on search and you can search directly any item that you want from your drive you can click on advanced search this is the option search you can just click on it and you can do more of an advanced search in your drive or within the drive this is advanced and it will help you to find whatever folder you are looking for you can just search and you can just reset if you are not comfortable with it so wherever your file is you don't have to follow up one by one you just start, type a part of that name and it will help you to search it very quickly and then down here you have the option to stay online it means whatever you upload here will be synchronized with your computer if you don't want it you can off this okay up here you can seek for support and then here is one of the most important these settings this is where you get your google drive app on your computer you just click on it and you have the options to go to settings over here you can get backup and sync for windows over here but before we get the backup and sync let me show you how you can access the keyboard shortcuts for google drive once you come to keyboard shortcuts you have a lot of them that you can access easily how to access your drive easily from how you do selections over here to how to do the go to you can just click on uh, g n o g and f to navigate if, uh, between a pin you can move from up to that or you can check your upload status by just typing g space u and you can check your download status by typing G and A or top of the page, GT. You know, once you click on this, it could just take you. You have options to check on applications. These are the shortcut keys. You can create a file, you can create a folder, you can create a presentation, you can create a form. These are shortcut keys. You can upload a file directly. This is a shortcut key to upload a new file, to upload a new folder. You can, up, you can check menus directly. You can check actions from here now the first thing you need to do is to start by getting your backup and sync for windows so you click on get backup and sync and this is where you have access to download the backup and sync and the drive for desktop okay you just click on download here 
and you have it downloaded here okay once you are done downloading you just click on show in folder and it will take you to that particular place where you download it and you can just uh, double click to install it's just a click through install as well so you can click 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 and it will just install on your drive directly so once you install this on your drive the google drive setup once you install it you will be able to access it just by coming to your desktop and coming over to search bar here and just searching on google drive okay so you can see it here google drive as you open it will it will synchronize your data directly from the cloud to your computer okay so once you click on my drive you see all those files that you have on your drive just now so all the files you have here are equally present here so but the only difference is these ones are, are present on the cloud but they are not actually occupying your system uh, space you can easily access them by merely clicking or opening it while, once you're online you can open it and access them but then if you want to keep a copy of it on your computer or you, you want to have an offline access then you have to open it offline access so once you have you want to have an offline access you will just click on available offline once you click on available offline this uh, particular file will be available for you even when you're offline so it will be synchronized to the cloud and you will be uh, it will be available on your computer so anytime you can access it but all others you have to be online to be able to access them so they don't occupy any space on your computer that's the advantage you just need a small network and you can open them and do whatever operations you want to do once you're done you close and another thing to to just share now you can add files without actually dragging and dropping on the cloud you can add your files on this on this google drive desktop file okay so you can just drag you can just drag this letter and drop on this drive and it will automatically synchronize and keep it on the cloud once you, you, you drag and drop it will so you don't need to drag and drop on the cloud on the web page you can just drag and drop here and it will synchronize it automatically once you're online it will just synchronize and save a copy for you online the same thing goes to folder you can drag and drop any folder here and to synchronize it automatically to be online so you want to check to confirm that you can come over to this uh two hidden icons and you can click on it you can come over to the drive here once you click on this drive you will see that this letter we just uploaded has just been synchronized and it is available online so all my uh, my files the ones i want synchronized are already synchronized here so if you want to add in more files to your google drive you can just drag and drop on this file and it will synchronize it or you can do the other methods okay and then up here you can have the option to click and you see your preferences you can see error list you can pause sync you can pause synchronization if you don't want a particular folder to be synchronized to the cloud you can easily pause it okay and you can quit the drive directly from here if you don't want a particular folder to be synchronized you can easily do that and if you want to share with people or you want to manage versions you can do all that from from here okay you want to update you as you are updating a particular document it's equally uploading updating on the cloud so you have the most updated versions of the document on the cloud so this is the settings where you find everything in the get backup and sync folder so this is how to actually get backup and synchronize up here in the settings you have the options to monitor your storage to convert uploads okay to google docs or any other one to select languages to select your offline preferences and all that you can manage notifications how you want to be notified in your emails the apps that you have how you want to manage them you can do all that from the you can do all that from the settings another thing you can do is you can change the view of this your my my drive you can have the grid view once you click on this grid view it will change everything to the bigger folder view yeah i think this looks good some people still prefer the other one okay the list view so this one is, is also good but if you are the fan of the other one you can easily click and it will change it accordingly down here to your left you have your calendar and you have keep keep is a very fantastic function of part of google that you can easily keep your passwords you can easily keep your settings any any other thing that you want quick access to you can easily keep it here and once you just get to keep.google.com you can easily access and you can make use of it and down here you have the tasks 
task is an easy method of managing your tasks that you do daily on a daily basis. For example, once you click on it, it will open up the tasks. You can add a particular task. For example, you want to make a video or you want to write paper. Okay, you put the details of it here. What do you want to write? Okay, you can put the details of it and then you put in the date. When do you want to write? Maybe on 14th. And you can set the time, maybe 11, 30 a.m. And once you are done, you can click on OK and it will add this to your list of tasks. OK, you have write paper, you have making videos. And once you're OK, you are done with a particular task, you can easily click here to mark it as complete. And it will strike it out. And you can do other things here. You can you can delete a particular task or you can add a sub task to it. To share your files with a group of people that you are working with, all you need to do is to come over to any file you want to share. Uh, for example, files that I shared, you will see it has this icon that it is being shared with others. And once you click on it, you can view details and you can see how much people are viewing this file. So these are the people that have access to this file, about 16 uh, or 20 of them. They have access to this file. So you can see how much of them, how many people are accessing and the activity also here. You can see the activity when when and when this person access when and what when this person access you can all see their activity so you have the option to to share your files you can just right click and you click on share directly which where you can provide the email address of the people you want to share or you can just get get a link when you click on get a link you have the option to copy this link directly to share with people person or people so, and they, once they click they can be able to access this file but then you can control the access of this file for that particular viewer. Is this going to be just to view? He can only view, he cannot edit, he cannot do anything. You can set it at that. If you want more, you can click on this drop down and you can click on to be a commenter. He can view, he can comment on that document, but there is he cannot edit. He can view and he can put in his comments, but he cannot edit. And you can select the editor if you want that particular person to edit be able to edit okay once you are able to you tell that yes you set it that this person should be an editor of this document then you will be able to edit on that particular document and once you are done you copy this link and you share with your friends and then this document becomes shared with your colleagues and once it is shared you will see this icon uh, shown here so you will see that these people they are these are these are shared files these are not shared these are shared files and once you click you see the people that are i shared the files with so once you click any particular folder you can be able to check on its properties you can even check change the coloration so that you can easily access it or you can easily uh, see it to be able to know within the files which folders you are easily you can easily access so you check here you can see it colored directly okay you can just right click and you have the option to remove this file if you want to remove it and it will send it to the trash you can download it to your computer if you want to download easily you can rename it you can add to step add to step means it is quick access once you want to access it easily you can just go to step and you see it just like start you can move it to a particular folder once you click it will ask you to select where you want to move it the available folder you can move it is on epic mentorship so you can easily drag uh, move it to this place and once you are done here you, you are satisfied you want to move it here you click on move and it will move it directly okay so still on the right click you can do open with you can select the applications you want to open with or you can share you can get link just now you have shown you can show folder location you can show exactly where this file is you can add to and you can do that for nearly all the files you can select more than one file and you can drag and drop to another file to another folder you can drag all these at once and you can drop them on this folder just like that and it, all of them will be moved to that particular folder so to access your google drive using your phone all you need to do is to open your phone you can go to the play store app you can click on it and then you search for google drive so you see it over here and you can see it down there you can download and install you can see it open you can download and install but because i've installed mine already so let's go ahead and open it all right you should just make sure that you are signed in with that particular email that you are we are talking about so once you are signed in with that email you it should be able to bring you into this particular view of your windows where you can see all your folders just like we have seen in just now with the computer so you can have access to all of them on your phone directly and up here 
you can have the opportunity to actually look at the recent activities just like we have. We can have offline mode. You can see your recycle bin. You can see your backups. You can do so check out some your your settings, and you can see your storage condition here. Yeah. Down here, you have the option to get to home wherever you are from the drive, and you can check your stat item, and you can check on shared documents that, that I shared with you directly, and you can check on your files directly from here. Here, you will be able to have a list of all your folders okay you can change the view from the normal list view to grid view this is grid view you can go back to the list view if you want and then you should be able to navigate and see all your folders down here you can do all sort of things from these three dots you should be able to be able to do other things just like right click you can copy the folder you can add to stare documents you can share with your friends and you can rename it So the first thing we need to know is that OneDrive comes as a default software on Windows 10. So to those of us who have Windows 10, you have no issues with OneDrive. It comes inbuilt. Okay, to those who don't have Windows 10, you can easily download OneDrive from the Microsoft 365 website. Once you go into the Microsoft 365 website, you can easily come in here directly and come to download and you should be able to download and install OneDrive directly or you can start it on the web. I will show you later how to use OneDrive on the web and how to use it on the desktop. So you can just access it by now coming to the search bar here and type OneDrive. You will see it over here, OneDrive. So once you open, it's going to open the OneDrive folder on your computer. This is the main folder where all your files will be synchronized to the main drive on the cloud. On your computer, you will have this folder and you have this icon to the bottom right here. This one that shows OneDrive. When you click on it, you are going to see a number of things. For example, you will see the files that have just been synchronized to your drive. So the first thing you see is this one. Let me try to explain the things. When you look at the status bar, you will understand that they are different. They look different. This one with the sync sign shows that these folders are being synchronized to the cloud right now. This one's with the green tick shows that they have been synchronized to the cloud and they are available on the computer. And this one with the cloud sign shows that this folder is only on the cloud. It's not fully on your computer, but it's available on the cloud. You can just click on it and with small internet you will download it and access all the files down here you have the one that has passing over here which shows that this file has been shared with someone this is a shared file so over here you find the google drive icon and once you click on it the first thing you see is those icons that have been synchronized if you come over to the right of any icon you click on the three dots or you can open this document directly or you can share it with someone you just click and then you put in the details of that person you want to share it with uh, for example you can click on share and you'll have the option to put in the name of the person or put in the group or type in an email of that person and it will share with that person directly and you have the option to change the, the level of control that particular person can have for example you, you can say that this person can edit this document or can only view without editing and once you are satisfied with this you can put in this email or you can copy the link uh, that you have generated you can copy the link for this particular folder or file and then send it via an email or via WhatsApp or any other media. Coming back, you have the option to view online. You can view this file online by just mere clicking on view online. You, you, you will see it online. And then you can check on version history, how it has changed over time. You will see the history of the changes that occur on this particular document or file so down here to the bottom you will you have three options you have the open folder you have the view online and then you have the help and settings so the open folder when you click on the open folder this is what you will see the folder that is synchronizing on your computer 
Now let's take a look at what you can do on this folder that is being synchronized. This is your main drive. You can see it by the left here. This is your one drive. So once you right click on a particular folder, you have series of options that you can do. But the ones that are added from one drive is you can share this folder also from here. You can do the same. Just now I show you how you can share. You can do the same. You can click and you share with the email. You can copy the link and you can set the control level from here still on the right click you can view this file online on the web and see what is it and what changes you have made you can always keep on this device by clicking on this it will make sure that all the folders that are within this all the files that are within this folder will be downloaded on this app on this on the computer and stay on this device so it will always keep this particular folder on this device this is just like the reverse of this it will keep the file on the cloud but it will not keep it on the computer so that's free up space if you just click on free up space it will delete the files and just keep a copy for you on the drive so this is just the basics of what uh, you have from the drive you can do all, all sort of things you can copy and, and cut and paste and you can send it to other people depending on what you want if it's available on the drive the next thing is you can view a file online so for you to synchronize any folder if you want to send in any folder to the cloud you can you have the option to send it by just dragging it and dropping it in this onedrive folder and it will automatically synchronize it and keep a copy on the cloud for you so for example from my desktop here if i just simply drag and drop this file on my onedrive file you can see it just got synchronized directly and it is now synchronized on the web when you check in here you'll find it already uploaded on my onedrive you can open it directly on the onedrive or you can share you can do all other things so this is how to do an upload in the onedrive you can drag a file you can drag even a folder and dump it here and then it will automatically synchronize it to the web so the next thing is we can look at this file online okay once you click on view online it will open this very file online for you so this is the web version of the onedrive once you open the web version some of the things you can see here are your files these are your files generally you can change the looks of them by just coming here and clicking on this drop down you can make it a tiles view with the tiles view you can see your folders like this some people prefer it this way or you can get it back to the list view or the compact view you can have compact view or you can change it to list view depending on your liking i also prefer it to be to be on the tiles view so up here you can see to your left you have the option to click on new you can create a new folder where you can upload a files you can dump in files directly or you can create these documents microsoft word microsoft powerpoint you can activate your one note notebook and forms like excel you can open up microsoft excel and, and stuff like that and when you want to upload a file or a document you can simply come over here you can upload click on this upload you can upload a file if you don't want to do the normal syncing on your desktop you can upload a file you can upload a complete folder over here and you can synchronize directly the existing version with the one on the desktop once you click on synchronize it will synchronize the desktop documents with the to bring them up to the cloud you can automate some of the function from here and up here you have a very very powerful search engine by by microsoft it's a very very powerful search engine once you have the name of the document you are looking for you just come over here and you can search for it directly you see the answer the location of that folder so once you put in for example you can search for this one drive and it will easily show me that this is on this cloud and you can you can you can see the location where it is directly and it just opened it for me here so once you search for a particular document it will open it for you and this is the view on one drive once you open it you can be able to share also you can copy the link and share with other people you can print you can download you can delete you can copy you can view the version history as regards the editing that you are making on this so up here you have the option to sort the document based on type based on name based on modified and modified by or based on file size according to ascending or descending order all what you what you want you can easily do from here over here you have this question mark this is for help you can check if you have issues that you want to check around you can easily navigate and see and then down here you have the account settings just check in your account settings you can sign out and you can view 
my account history and maybe make some changes up here you have the settings um, from the settings you can check in the you have series of things to change you can check, change the themes use the default theme you can change to other things you can view other things you can view all you can change the language and time you can use the dark mode you can change password and, and stuff like that and contact preferences okay up here you have my files what you have to your left is my files which contains all the files that i have here and then you have your most recently opened files once you click on it it's going to show you the most recently opened files from your computer it even categorizes them based on day week and all okay you can have the shared documents all the documents that you shared with people are going to be known here okay you will see them here the documents that you shared with others will be seen here and then you can have access to your deleted files or the recycled bin so files that are deleted will automatically come here and after a given time it will wipe it out these are quick access that you can have few other forms this is one microsoft office 365 so it comes with a lot of features down here you can get the onedrive apps if you don't have it or you have issues with it on your desktop you can always click on this and it will download the app for you on your computer and then you can install it and you can return to classic view you can change the view if you want once you right click on your folder you have the option also to do similar operations that you have in the desktop you can share you can copy the link and share with others you can manage access you can download the folder you can delete to move to some a particular location you can copy you can rename you can automate things and you can view the details of this folder so many things you can do additionally when you want to bring in folders if you don't want to synchronize you can easily also drag and drop any file or any folder that you have you want to bring in on cloud you can drag and drop it it will automatically synchronize here and synchronize also on the desktop so it will save a copy here and save a, a cloud image of it also on your desktop so this is how to bring in a file you can do the same for a folder also if you will have a folder containing files you can drag and drop also the same way the last part of the onedrive app to show that we are just showing is the help and settings once you come to the help and settings you can easily click on this and you have the option to open the onedrive directly on the web you can check on settings you can view online also you can pause synchronization you can pause the sync okay you have the opportunity to pause a particular synchronization you can once you click on it you have you can see the option to pause it for two hours for eight hours and for 24 hours you have you can manage your storage also what and what you need to back up and stop and, and things like that and then down here you can see you can close the drive so basically this is how to use google drive on the web and this is how to use it on the desktop now i will show you how to use google drive on your phone okay so on your phone if you want to get in if you have it already it's okay if you don't have it you can always get it where when you come to the play store app you click on the play store okay you can navigate to uh you can go to the search bar here and just type onedrive okay once you click on onedrive you will see it coming up here if you have it installed then you can open if you don't have it then you can install once you install because i have mine already installed i can just click on open and it will open my onedrive and you will see all my files that i just shown you here just now on the on the computer so these are files that i've just synchronized even this latest one that we just upload has also been synchronized and i can see it on my phone right so you have the folders you can change the arrangement also from here you can see the file arrangement you can change it to look like this or up here you can use the plus icon once you click on it you can be able to upload create a folder you can create a folder and you can upload a file or a folder directly using the second icon and then you can take a photo you can scan a document you can open up microsoft you can create a word document or a powerpoint presentation from here directly and the next thing is up here you have the similar search icon that we've just shown you can search for any icon of your liking maybe you can put in welcome omega and it will show the same file that we just searched just now okay so you can see it here welcome to Mega. the file that we just searched just now you have the option to search using this and you can down here you can always come back to home 
and you can open your files it will show you all the list of files at the home tab you can only see the recent files and the shared libraries you can do similar thing that we've just done on the drive once you come to these three dots you have the option to share that particular file you can download it you can rename it you can make it available offline also so by downloading this on this deck device you can view details of the history of changes in the drive in the file as well and then up here you can see the shared items all the items that i shared with you from other people you will be able to see it here and then you have the option to check in the libraries this is the libraries based on what you what kind of subscription you have and then you come over to me here where you can see the uh, your profile your photos okay your files available offline you can see the recycle bin and what is there and you can check on settings and you can sign out if you want okay you can check on your photos and you see them directly or you can check on these settings checking on settings will give you the opportunity to check on your app account and you can add in a new account you can add another account to this you can upload uh, from the camera you can do all sort of clean up of spaces and all you can put in passcode you can do other things like the version update you can update your, your device and do many more many more things down here so you can just check it out and see what and what you can do you can add up to you, to your experience you can as well check from this icon to be able to check your address which address you, you, are, you are checking which email are you using right now on the drive and you can add another email by just putting in the email you can just put in the email the microsoft email and it will bring in that the document all the folders from that email as well and synchronize it to your phone one last feature that i want to use is that you can edit your pdf document on your onedrive directly so for example this uh, welcome to mega is a pdf file so once you click on it it's going to open on onedrive so over down here you have the option to share it directly you can annotate you can a bookmark you can delete and you can download the folder directly so to annotate this file particular file all you need to do is to click on annotate and you have the option to select what kind of pen or what kind of marker you want to use for example you select this black pen and you can write accordingly you can write on the document or you can even have the opportunity to put in text all right you can put in text accordingly anywhere at any location you want you can put in the text and you can even put in notes if you want you can put in notes you can change coloration of the uh, notes that you want to uh, put uh, just like a sticky note once you're done you click on all right and down here you have the option to put in signature you can bring in shape you can bring in an image and you can put in a signature on the document also so you have the option to put in your signature down here once you sign and you're okay with the signature you can either delete or you can add another signature once you are done you click on this sign and and you have it in your document you can position it to anywhere you like then you have it as your signature so once you are done editing you can just click on done and then it is saved on your document so the first thing you need to do is to start by logging in to mega so we can come to the google chrome here and just type mega okay you see it mega.io you just click on it once you enter the main website you will be welcomed here so there's so much to read here what is mega and why do you need mega it's just like a simple explanation you can um, simply you can just go to browse through the website to just have an experience of this reliable storage and fast transfers end-to-end -end encryption this one has this benefit uh, secure communications so it's the cheapest compared to dropbox compared to uh, google drive you can have an extension on your browser so you can easily access it through the extension right mega has that extension and you can see a lot of reasons why you should choose mega so to start with let's try to log in if you are not uh, logged in you can easily sign up you can sign up by creating an account here you just create create an account you put in your details once you finish putting your details you just create an account and if you have an account already you can come over here to say login and for my own case i have an account i put in my details and i log in so to welcome you here to your cloud drive this is where all your files are this is where all your files that will be domiciled so there are a lot of things to look into 
to your left here you have the file manager where you have the cloud drive this is your cloud drive where you have all the files you can get to your most recent visited files from the left here you can go to most recently visited you can see it you can get to your rubbish okay you can see your rubbish bin whatever you have here you can easily recycle them bring them back to the normal cloud drive if you want and you can get to your shared folders here if you have shared any folder with anybody you can see it from here and links shared links also you can see it from here let's go back to our cloud drive and let's look at what we can do here just like google just like the one drive mega also has a very powerful search engine that you can search any part of the document from here you can easily search anything and it will just open it for you okay they search for anything and it will just open it for you it's very powerful it can get you the location of that folder very easily so you can easily search there's a way you can you can temper with the view of the folder settings here you can come over here to this thumbnail view you can click on it and you can change it to the list view if you want or to the thumbnail view it's very easy but i prefer it to the thumbnail view it's quite fantastic and then up here you can create a new folder if you create a new folder you just give it a name right you just create a new folder you can see it over here and you can easily upload things to this folder and whenever you want to upload anything all you need to do is to come over to upload here once you hover over it you will see these two things you can upload a folder you can upload a file okay so once you click on a file it will prompt you to your computer and you can navigate to wherever you have that file and you can easily upload it so let's say the file is located in my desktop and i want to upload this file okay you can just easily upload it directly and you can see it here it was added to the transfer manager and you can see the transfer manager over here at the bottom to your left here okay once you click on the transfer manager you can see what is coming in see the file is being uploaded into the mega drive you can even monitor it you can pause it and later on you can resume it or you can cancel it okay once it's finished the download you can see it coming up here it's already into our epic mentorship file and you can check on different downloads here you can check on uploads that you are doing currently and you can check on the completed tasks files that you have uploaded recently and you can clear the selection if you don't want them to remain here okay and then come close and from this file transfer or you can see active transfer from here and from this file transfer manager also you can add a file you can just click on add you can open up links you can upload a file also you can download a given file to your computer if you want and then you can come for more settings okay more settings here can give you the access to use you can check on your account you can check how many storage do you have you can manage notifications you can change language you can come on to sync and see what folders you have synchronized and you can add also to synchronize other folders you can check on bandwidth you can check on proxy but the most important is the advanced where you can specify where your download should go after you download where should they go usually we have a mega file once you download the app on your desktop you will have it situated on your desktop so you can easily specify and change locations if you want here you can manage notifications once you click you can see all your notification what comes in what code goes out if there's any message and over here you can see your account you are online you can set your status to be away busy or offline for anyone who is in mega you cannot see you or if you are busy you can set it to busy or, or stuff like that and then you can put in settings you can get to settings which will bring you to a different form of settings over to your left on the still on the settings you can check on your profile okay you can just look at it you can check on your profile you can put in these details you can automatically use qr code for, for to get to you okay you can use qr code you can use preferences okay how do you want the appearance of the of your accounts to look like and then you can delete an account you can get to plan also to see what is happening how much the storage you are using how much of the storage is left and you can come to transfers to see the level of uh, usage also of your files okay how much storage you have used how much you have left and so many other things okay so still back on this you have achievements you can actually do so many things to increase the storage 
your storage in Mega. So for example, when you install the Mega app on a desktop, you can have you can have you'll be given five gigabyte of data. When you install the app on your phone, you will still be giving five gigabyte of storage space. So when you install the Mega on desktop, you'll be giving five gigabyte of free storage uh, for one year. You, when you install it on your phone as well, you'll be given five gigabyte of free storage. And when you invite friends per person, you are going to be given five gigabyte of free force, free storage for one year. So this is quite one of the most interesting part. And you can easily invite people and get more five gig, five gig, five, five gig. Before you know it, you have a very big storage unit. Okay, so once you're done here, I've understood your benefits, you can close and you can get back to here and you can see you can log out directly from here you can log out easily and over to these three dots you can click on them and it will bring you to so many features that you can actually play around with you can check your storage how how is it you can load your account reload it to, to bring in to update the latest data or latest activity and so on so many things to check down here and once you're done you click on close you can bring in files just like in google just like in OneDrive. you can bring in files to OneDrive also by just dragging and dropping once you drag and drop it's going to copy this file so you can just say upload and it will upload it you can drag and drop folders as well okay you can drag this folder and then you can drop it and it will upload it just like that right so this is another easy way to upload. You can say upload and to upload it here. This is another easy way to, to upload. You can drag the folder from anywhere and just drop it. In order for you to download the desktop app for Mega, all you need to do is to come over to this drop down. Okay, you come over to settings. You can come all the way down to transfers here. And you can come to Mega Drop folders okay or you can come to download and upload you can come down here and you can see that you have transfer tools you have the mega desktop app here you can install it by just clicking on download you can just download directly and it will download here once it finishes the download you can easily navigate to the location where it is saved click through to install it's just a click through install you can just double click to install it directly so once you are done installing you will have the opportunity to log into your mega files on the desktop uh, from here you can just come down here to this drop up show hidden icons and you can see it here once you click it will prompt you to log in with your email and password Right, so once you log in, you can easily double click and you will see the files. You will be welcome with this menu and you can see your transfers, whatever you transfer. You, you can see your storage level, you can see the transfers, you can see notifications, you can come to upgrade account if you want. You can bring in, you can click on this folder to synchronize or to add a sync. Okay, you can add a particular folder to synchronize. You can upload the file directly and you can download your file from here, okay, from the web and over here you have the option to synchronize also to open links to upload and download or stream something like and you have the option to go to settings which we have, which we have just explained previously on how to use all this so getting back you still have the option to exit if you are done with the whole thing you can either exit or you can still come to settings and log out your activities from the drive here you can log out directly from here so once you click on the drop down you can click on the mega icon and once you come here and click on this folder and click on the mega sync it will take you directly to the file where all your mega files are synced okay so whatever you bring in here it will be automatically synchronized with the uh, these are files that have been synchronized with your Mega. By default, you will have the Mega Sync in your menu here. So you can easily access it and see whatever is inside. So once you click on Mega Sync, it's going to bring you here. You can easily put in files here and they will be synchronized to the web as well. All right. So once you transfer, you put in a file here, you drag and drop a file, it's going to automatically be synchronized to the web and it will be on the web. 
and on your computer as well. When you right click on your file, you have a bunch of options. You can copy that file, you can remove it directly and it will send it to the recycle bin. You can move it to any given folder, you can rename it. You can share it with others. You can get a link that by sharing it with others. You can share directly by just clicking on sharing and you will be able to put in who do you want to share with. You want to share with this guy or you want to add in more people. You can put in their emails and you can, once you're done, you click on done and you to share it with them. You can do many more things. You can download this file to your drive. You can send to a chat. You can get the link and just send the link to someone and you can access it. You can check the level, the looks. You can change the coloration of the folder. You can see it just differentiated with others. Yeah, set it as your favorite or you can view the information on, on the file. So you guys sizing the, the, the more details, how much does it space does it occupy or the other, and then you can open. So this is about using the drive on the cloud. This is about using the drive on the cloud and this is about using it on the on the desktop that everything is being synchronized and you can check it from here as well to see the progress. This one also that we just drop down has already been synchronized and you can easily link uh, get the link and share it with others if you want. So this is how to synchronize files and folders to the mega from the app so now i want to show you how to download the app and install it on your phone and then you can synchronize again with the app on the on the computer and on the cloud and you can synchronize all of them and have your data safely used okay so here am i on my phone if you don't have the mega drive uh, you can easily come to the play store here you can just search on mega you can just come over here and search mega if you have it it will already because my in my own case i already have it and installed so you just see it here so if you don't have it you can follow the same process and just install directly and once you are done you click on open and it will open your mega file here so once it opens the mega file you will be welcome with this screen and you can see your folders here just now we have seen them in the in the web you can see them over here also they are synchronized you can see you can bring in images that you can check in images that you have uploaded and you can check the main mega files what you have uploaded so far what is the most recent items and you can go to offline as well if you want over here you have the option to do some chats like i said this is not that important you can invite friends and you can chat you can see whether you are online or not you can see your shared items down to the right you can see your shared items items that have been shared with you that those that are ongoing and those uh, links that i shared with you you can easily see directly and over here to this drop down you can see my account you can sign out you can do, check in your contacts you can check in notifications you can see your transfers you can go offline and you can check as well your recycle bin and come to settings and do so many changes here you can do so many changes while within the settings so once you are done you can go, go to the go back here and then you can come down to your folders in your folders you can just come over to even over here you can check you can we still have the same search engine at the top here you just click on the search and you can search for any item you are looking for in the in the drive for example we can search for 222 and you can see is this file is just showing us if you are done with the search you can uh, to your right you can have the change the looks of the folders you can change it to look to the list view take it back to the grid view the list view also is good or the grid view anyone you, want, you like and you can come to the three dots here and do so many things you can upload directly you can capture using your camera you can create a new folder you can open a link you can sort your document you can equally upgrade the account and in any given folder you can come to these three dots and you'll have the option to get the information just like we have seen in the web you can view in folder you can set it as your favorite you can level it with coloration right now it's leveled as red you can change it if you want you can save to the drive you can check available offline you can once you click on this it's going to keep this file for you even when you are not online the, device, the drive the file is still going to be on your computer you can get links you can share the links you can manage share who access what have what happened after he access you can still manage the share from here you can edit you can remove share with anybody if maybe you decided not to share with that person you can remove it and you can rename the file or move it or copy it to another place or move it to the recycle bin just now that we have seen in the main folder 
and over to this plus icon once you click on the plus icon it's the same thing you can bring in folders from the device from this phone you can bring in folders you can upload folders you can pick from the file system you can scan documents easily using this feature you can capture maybe with a photo you can create a new folder you can create a new text file this is very easily done with uh, mega in this tutorial i want to share with you how to use the dropbox this dropbox is a cloud-based software or platform that lets you to keep your documents or files synchronized between devices and even on cloud and on your computer okay so you can have a files on your computer and you can synchronize them to the cloud and you can easily access them using any device elsewhere depending on the location wherever you are you can access your files using dropbox okay once you have a dropbox account so dropbox help you to keep work and life organized moving all in one place so find the plans for you dropbox gives you secure access to all of your files collaborate with friends family and colleagues from any device okay from any device and from any part of the world so you can store and synchronize you can share you can stay secure and you can collaborate with people right so this, this is just a bit on the benefits provided by dropbox how you use dropbox for work for personal use depending so to get to dropbox all you need to do is to come to dropbox.com and it's going to bring you over here so right now you can see get more out of dropbox by connecting with the tools you love okay you can connect via zoom slack adobe creative cloud microsoft office google space google workspace trello canvas and asana so many of the features are incorporated and integrated to dropbox you can use them together okay so you can check out the pricing you have the personal and work plan you can check out the features storage 3000 gigabytes that's about three terabytes and this 5000 when you are going for the standard and when you, this is for advanced and when you are going for the advanced feature but for this you can try for free if you want so let's say we are trying for free 30 days free trial okay so once you log into your account this is where you are going to get into so this is my dropbox home the first thing you need to do is you can add files to this okay so you can create a new file so let's say you can create a new file you can upload at the top right here you can see you can upload files you can upload a folder you can create a new folder bring in new shared folder and new automated folder okay so let's say we are uploading we are going to create a new folder and we call it my backup so for you to have the best experience with dropbox usually you have to download the app so i have to download the app so i can have it in my desktop or within my computer and i can synchronize my data accordingly so let's download dropbox uh, app and see okay so it has just downloaded dropbox so we we'll just so we'll click to install so we we'll just click to have it installed on our system so we can always uh, log in and use it so we'll click on continue yes okay, so right now it is installing dropbox okay so right now it has just finished installation so it will ask you to set up dropbox on your phone so you can set up dropbox on your phone to finish uh, as soon as it has finished you can see it has just opened a fresh dropbox file folder from here so this is a dropbox folder you can always see the folder called dropbox here okay and you can see it over here within your computer it's called dropbox so whatever you put over here is going to automatically be synchronized with your dropbox on the cloud so let's say on this my backup i want to put in one or two folders and then we can see how we are going to synchronize it okay so let's say on my desktop i want to put in a single folder so let's say this thumbnail i want to put it so i just drag and drop it in this my dropbox file and you see it's going to be automatically synchronized okay it has just been synchronized based on this small tick the green tick it shows it has been synchronized to the cloud and you can always know that by coming to this small arrow and just check it over here so dropbox you can just click and you can see it has just synchronized and you can copy the link from here and you check over other features you can open the the file online or you can open it from this drive or you can share the link you can copy this link and share with people or you can share show in in file explorer or you can show on dropbox.com so once you click on show in dropbox.com it's going to take you to the cloud and it's going to show you that this particular folder or you can come all the way down here and it can bring you up to this folder okay wherever whenever you click it's going to open the drop dropbox folder 
so once you come to this drop arrow and you can come all the way up here you can open the the dropbox folder from here or you can access or you can check on open notifications and you can search for files you can check or sync history so today you've synchronized this keep your pc files backed up okay now you can show this okay so over here you have your profile you can check on your profile you can view sync, sync issues you can snooze you can allow notification preferences you can select you can add, you can add other team account to this very account but your account right now has two gigabyte of storage let's check out the dropbox online to see whether our file has just been synchronized or not okay so here we are back dropbox file so you can check over here we have the back my backup that i just created once you click on it to open you can see the thumbnail that i have just uh, all uploaded just now okay and you are free to select it and do multiple things okay for example you can download it or you can open it directly from here or you can move it to a given folder or you can copy it and paste it somewhere or you can come to this three dot and do many more things such as opening in photos and previewing on dropbox and connecting with other apps as well you can download this and you can move it you can copy you can rename it you can delete it you can add comments you can paint to a particular place maybe to your taskbar or to the front dashboard or you can start it put it as important as start document and you can always see it over here you can save as a pdf or a jpeg depending on what kind of document is it you can check the version history and show in file explorer as well so so much to do so much to learn you can just feel free to try it and you can create a new folder you can click on this create to create a new folder automated folder document presentations using powerpoint google slides you can do everything inbuilt within dropbox okay you can check out on drop uh, spreadsheet you can check out excel worksheet workbook and google sheets as well so you have the two of them you can work online as well and you have many more you can have shortcuts you can have dropbox paper template and check out and edit to your liking and make custom documents okay so over here you have the recent documents you have start documents you have photos you have shared items that i shared with you on dropbox you can easily see them here and you can file requests from here you can check out deleted files even though they have certain period of time in which they can expire and they can be deleted permanently so feel free to try it to explore it to maybe subscribe for the free version or if you want to get in more subscription or more storage you can always come to upgrade to upgrade your your account right now we have my account here you can check on up, upgrade features okay you can change the look of the the content okay from this view from the grid view now it is set to list view you can change to large large grid and you can see the the document over here or you can change it to grid view you can see it just a uh, small okay you can change it also to large list and you can see it uh, in the large form so you can share your content directly with dropbox you can share directly or you can use this to uh, kind of collapse this feature okay and you have a bunch of properties that you can check from here okay so feel free to try it it's